guitar there, Yanni oh, Johnson. Talk about beautiful music. We're going to move into beautiful visual art. Excellent. Emerging out of the Gosford Regional Gallery this weekend. 92.5 ABC Central Coast. It's now the art part of Smart Arts. And uh, mm. this is your bag, baby, because you're, the, yeah, you're the artist. Uh, although, I'm hung. I'm hung yeah, now. Yeah, tonight, tonight they're unveiling a Scott Levi tonight? original. Yeah, yeah, that's opening tonight. Unfortunately, the name of the show is Rubbish, Rubbish, Rubbish. Yeah, that's Rubbish, Rubbish. Why rubbish. I, got a Guernsey. I wonder who the third artist is. Rubbish, Rubbish, Rubbish. Yes. Judy's great. Yes. She's a fantastic artist. That kicks off tonight at 6.30. Uh, excellent. I'm very excited. Mm. I wonder where my piece is going to be. Well, it's so going Chris, to be have you seen it? You're the director. Have you put it in a prominent spot? Well, Judith's been hanging all of that, so I haven't put it up yet, but yeah. uh, but I've seen where they are, and they look it great. It is 10 yeah. centimetres by 10 centimetres, so I can sort of Lots of white space. If uh, <laughs> you miss it. <laughs> you need a magnifying glass no, you to won't, see it. You won't miss Scotty's fish. Anyway, it's we the have the best. director of the, um, the Gosford uh, City Regional Art Gallery here as well, which is a beautiful space. And also, too, the, the young artists out of the emerging, Rachel Park and Chloe Hughes. Welcome to Smart Arts. Tell us about... How Emerging emerged. Okay, thanks, thanks, Scott and Yanni. The Emerging competition is something that we've been running for, this is the fifth time, it's a biennial competition, so since 2003. And the gallery started as a way of connecting Gosford with some of the great young artists around New South Wales. So it's open to artists aged 18 to 30 from across New South Wales. Oh, we missed out, Scott. <laughs> yeah, you miss out. Sorry, Yanni, just by a Scotty year or two. Scotty and Yanni, we could have been a good pet. Yeah. Ageist, I reckon. Ageist, yeah. we should be outside protesting with <laughs> placards, the young people taking over the world. Our fish and sinking ships. <laughs> one of the big differences with this competition to your normal art exhibition or art competition where you submit one painting or one photograph and it might get in or might not, in this one, we ask the artists to come up with a body of work, That's great. and yeah. so they've really got a chance to make make a statement. It's more balanced, it. isn't it? Too, yeah. it gives them something to, to say. You know, you're not a one-hit wonder. And so we can see the context that they're that they're working mm. from. Mm. Is so, it mainly painting? Oh, sorry, Scotty. I was just saying, is there a theme in that body of work, or can it be a? It can picture? be whatever whatever they want, but obviously in the in the judging process, we're looking for really strong themes mm. and artists that are really out there pushing. And it's not just painting. There's uh, with me. I've got uh, Rachel, who's an installer. Art and artist and Chloe who's a video artist so um, it's there's also painting drawing photography if I'd have known that I would have got you videoing for our Facebook videos <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe we could put a little snippet up so on our Facebook page painting yeah. drawing photography photography yep. video yep it's and uh, Rachel's installations are quite a unique one Rachel might say something about that um Painters and artists, they use paint or pencil to draw and paint. That's a conventional artist. I'm sorry if it was painted, but I paint and draw with toilet paper. Not on canvas, oh, just, not uh, on paper, yeah. but I not paint the space. Especially so now, it's Gosford Regional Gallery space yeah. that I actually paint and draw with my toilet paper in space. Yeah. So it's 3D, it's very interesting. And It'd be pretty fragile too. And it? when you, yeah, very fragile. Everybody calls me toilet paper artist. But <laughs> remember, once well, they the call toilet me something paper close to that. Is, yeah. is used by artists to be transformed into artwork, it's no longer toilet paper. Mm. It is actually abstract form that's actually um, out there. Mm. It's read as artwork. It has different value and meaning. Absolutely. So it's taken out of its original context, mm -hmm. which was toilet paper in the toilet yeah. it's a function original function no longer it's there so when you look at it next time so do you <laughs> yeah do you look to uh Marcel Duchamp as one of your yes, role models yes conceptual art that really yeah. changed my um way of looking at art and this is not toilet paper <laughs> this is not toilet yeah, paper yeah anymore <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it is up how, how do you go about doing that in in the, the, the confinement of a gallery like Gosford Regional Gallery, does it, it sort of limit what you can do with it? Because well, uh, it was actually the largest space I ever mm. got. Oh, right. Well, yeah. So you used to work in the smallest house, in the, a room in the house? Yes, artists run spaces <laughs> in the Very city, nice. like really small and tiny and yeah. low ceiling, but this time high ceiling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And fast space. So you've really flung it around a bit. That's right. I, I really interact with the space. That's <laughs> naughty. So it's like activating the space, especially mine mm. is on the floor. Yeah. So I don't paint on the wall. So mm -hmm. I paint it with my toilet paper on the floor. So will people see um, figures in the toilet paper or it is, is it sort of The toilet paper is actually alive. It's moving. Oh. You look closely at it. Mm -hmm. It's actually um, used, I've actually used fans and 
Ah, oh, oh, I see. Yeah. That sounds great. I mean, people will be flocking to see that. Um, We've got to see what Chloe We've got to, does. got to talk about Chloe because that sounds like a hard uh, act to follow, Chloe, as a, as a video artist. How do you display your... Um, oh, obviously, I'm... Wall or screens, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Usually, is a projection, and this work is a single channel projection, and it's a series of portraits mm. where I've interviewed people about how they attribute meaning and purpose to their lives, but particularly in the context of their paid work. And mm. I've edited the interviews down into a series of monologues, and each monologue is coupled with documentation of the in, of the workspace which each person each person works in mm. and uh, what was the most interesting paid person that you uh, talked to well I spoke to a range of people the most interesting I would say is a friend who actually is unemployed so she's talking about her relationship with Centrelink mm. and she's writing a book about transcending the material universe as you would, as you would in that position. <laughs> so in terms of a critique of um, conventional social institutions, I think hers was the most interesting. Mm. And do they just loop through the show and you get the noises and the... And the... Yeah, they do. They loop mm. through the show and I've decided to exhibit it as a single channel work so that the audience have to come in and be committed participants and committed mm -hmm. listeners and sit there from start to finish rather than okay. coming in at one point and yep. leaving at another. Well, it just sounds fa fabulous, uh, mm. Tim. When, when can we see it? And uh, it runs in conjunction with Rubbish, Rubbish, Rubbish. Rubbish, it, it, <laughs> rubbish, rubbish. it does. It uh, opens this Sunday at 2 o'clock is, uh -huh. is the big opening and the announcement of, of the, the winner, I suppose. Not, I mean, all of the artists are winners. There's, there's eight finalists, so we've got two with us today, but uh, eight finalists were selected and uh, the announcement of the... The winning finalists will be on Sunday at 2 o'clock and the exhibition continues till the 22nd of May so it's a, a long time to Fabulous. come and see it and some really interesting, very as you've heard today, very diverse work mm. um, and uh, yeah, really some challenging stuff too, so stuff to make you think, stuff to make you laugh and, and stuff that's just simply beautiful as well. So. That's great. And, and what about the opening of um, the big show tonight? That that, that's in the, in the studio gallery, that's here due to the Price's exhibition. I think it's 6.30 tonight, so yep. um, yeah, come on. And make sure you, uh, you find Scotty's work, it's an amazing fish. And oh, if, you want to, if you want to see him making that, just get onto our Facebook site, the ABC Central Coast, and uh, scroll through, you'll find Scotty making his art. I wouldn't be mad. You were, you are like the man of the Now he knows what I live like. <laughs> it's uh, 7 to 3, and uh, thank you very much, Tim and, and Artists. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Good luck thank with you. your show on Sunday. Sounds fantastic, and it's a beautiful gallery. Thank you.